Hello everyone, Pretender Prowl here with another Mega Constructs Masters of the Universe review. Today I'm going to be taking a quick look at the re-release of Panthor, released with a Skeletor figure. This is one of the latest sets released for early 2021 by Mega Constructs. As you can see, this Panthor was not released in a box with some bricks like his predecessor with the Point Dread set, which was my first review. He comes in a blister card pack, with a black and white illustration on the back, and he comes with another version of Skeletor. Not too much with this set. Comes with an instruction manual, even though everything's already assembled, so, hmm. Comes with Panthor, the new flocked version. Fuzzy, that resembles his uh, original version. Comes with the saddle and the helmet, even though the original Panthor never came with a helmet. This Panthor and his predecessor for uh, Point Dread did. Let's just take a brief look at the Skeletor that comes with this set. It is a regular Skeletor with the harness. This one comes with a battle axe. Uh, the harness and the uh, purple color is darker than your normal uh, Skeletor, with the exception of the Skeletor that comes with Castle Grayskull. Usually all the Skeletors are a light lavender kind of purple. This is an actual dark purple, which I like. I also notice that the head of the Skeletor seems to have a little bit more green, and it looks like there's a couple of uh, cracks on the top of the skull, or maybe those are uh, expression lines, or I'm not sure what that is. It doesn't look like it's a factory defect. It looks like it was something that was added to give some kind of a dimension to it, but I'm not 100%. I'm going to start with comparing him to the uh, Skeletor that came with the Castle Grayskull set. Because that's the one he most resembles. The Castle Grayskull skull uh, is uh, more yellow. There's no green on it whatsoever. And the eyes are not painted. Whereas the uh, one that comes with Panthor has the green on the skull. And the eyes are painted. On camera, the purple looks identical. But the... In actuality, the Grayskull one, the purple is actually a little bit darker. Um, if you wanted a Havoc Staff for this Skeletor, um, this one is a really good match to the Axe. In fact, or if you wanted an Axe for this Skeletor, you can take the Axe from this guy. I say pick your Skeletor and complete it. The uh, skin color is also different. The Grayskull one has a darker blue, and it also has dimensions painted onto the muscles, whereas the Panthor one has uh, the light blue with no dimension. Here is Panthor Skeletor with the Skeletor that was released with the Prince Adam Mossman line. That line consisted of Prince Adam, Mossman, Evil Lynn version 2, Skeletor here, and I believe it's uh, version 3 or version 2 of Stratos. As you can see, definite differences. Uh, Havoc Staff, the, well, the weapon itself is a different color. It's all just a different color. I'm not going to go into detail about this and that. The only detail I will mention is that the Skeletor that comes with the Mossman set doesn't have his eyes painted like uh, the Panthor one and like others of the line. Here is Panthor Skeletor with the Wind Raider Attack Skeletor, which the Wind Raider Attack Skeletor is just a updated paint job of the Battle for Eternia Skeletor. Basically the main difference between uh, Battle for Eternia Skeletor and the Wind Raider Attack Skeletor is that the boots are painted. But this one is more of a uh, light composite because the exact same pieces on each figure are painted identically. It's just in a different color, with the exception of the chest piece being having that extra paint to it. Here is Panthor Skeletor next to the Battle for Eternia Skeletor. As I mentioned with the Wind Raider Attack Skeletor, um, other than the boots being painted, it's pretty much identical. And uh, that's why the colors are composite. 
And last, I will compare him with the Battle Armor Skeletor, which came with the Point Dread, which was my first video. Um, I just can't seem to find my Battle Armor Skeletor at this particular moment. I got this one here. He might be in the room. Hold on just a sec. Wind Guardian, Leviosa. You loathsome witch. It's pronounced Leviosa, not Leviosa. Come here, you mutated misfits. Help me. You got it? I've got it. No, you don't. What the hell? Stand it up! Eh. Hmm. This guy looks nothing like me! Get rid of it! And just like this video, I will rule the Earth and the universe, and all of you will listen to me! <laughs> what is it? Really? Since you all are still ridiculously watching this video, and because my noble steed Panthor wants it, I shall now do a quick comparison of the two Panthors. The newer Panthor is furry and flocked with green eyes. My Panthor that came with the set I came with it is not furry, but hard, rigid, and he has yellow eyes. Depending on your personal preference, do you like it soft and furry or hard and rigid? <laughs> Shut up, beast man. I'm not sure when I'm going to do it to Panthors. Perhaps Triclops can construct me some form of chariot. I can use them both, like a Roman conqueror, or some form of galactic vehicle, which I can use them both as a power source. Hmm. Still, though, there doesn't seem to be enough cats in this line. Maybe we need a couple more. You also have me to add to your ranks, Skeletor. Baker, what are you doing here? And what the hell is that you're riding? This is my loyal robotic steed, named Copycut. Never heard of him. And he's not canon. No. He's a character developed on the internet based on a knockoff many years ago. Pretender Pro made this for me using a extra Panthor that he had. Oh? Extra Panthor? Where did he get an extra Panthor? Because Pretender Pro likes to buy many of the same set. Well, I don't like it. It looks like a robotic love child of Panthor and a my little pony. Pretender Pro may be our enemy. But I think he did a good job on my loyal steed, Copycat. I even like how one side of face is Battle Damage Terminator style, while the other side has a real looking eye. I like the Battle Damage detail that Pretender Prowl put into the arm. 
this makes copycat look like a fierce warrior who can take any damage as well as give it Skeletor Skeletor Stinkor what are you doing here you're supposed to be occupying Pretender Pro while we hijack his video but uh that's the thing Skeletor Merman betrayed us we we trapped Pretender Pro like he told us to and Merman helped him escape Merman dare betray me that turn of face tentacle trout I'll have him for dinner for us Yum yum let's eat him up Shut up beastman and gather the warriors <clears throat> Unfortunately my powers are not yet strong enough to deal with pretender prowl but there will come a reckoning Now what's going on in here Skeletor retreats my loyal steed you may have managed to escape my trap this time, Pretender Prowl, but take care. One day I will have enough power to defeat you and destroy all of your videos and your entire legacy. Wait, what's that in your hand? No, not the TARDIS! Time's running out for you, Skeletor. Oh, hey, Adam. Cringer and I heard a disturbance. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Skeletor is being a pain in the ass. Well, what happened? Well, I went to look for the Battle Armor Skeletor figure. And it wasn't in the bin with all the others. So, I went to go look for it, and I, uh, smelled something in the bathroom. So I went to check it out, and it was Stinkor. When I asked him what was going on, Merman closed the door and locked it behind me. I was trapped in the bathroom. You should be more careful. I was just doing a review of the new Panthor. I figured I'd talk about all the other cats in the line. I even thought about talking about the uh, custom cringer I made out of an extra battle cat I had. But then things kind of went sideways. Well, would you like to talk about Cringer now? Oh, I don't think so, Adam. I think he has enough to do right now. Yeah, I think Cringer's got a point. I'm going to review the footage, see exactly what was filmed, because I know the camera's been on the whole time. Uh, maybe I can salvage this video, I don't know. Believe it or not, Merman helped me out. First, he locked me in the bathroom... And then he complained that he uh, wasn't getting enough uh, gratitude from Skeletor. And uh, I told him I had an idea about making uh, different versions of him throughout the line. So since Merman helped you out, I assume we're going to be talking about him in the next video? Yeah, you know what? Even though it's been out for a while, I might do a quick look at the Masters Universe Roton set. I mean, it looks like I've been doing every other set in the line. Why not do that one? While I'm at it, I'll uh, discuss more about Cringer here, and uh, which is suitable because uh, He-Man and Battle Cat came with that set too. Maybe that's an idea for our next video. Well, I can't wait. How about you, old buddy? Oh, I guess. Well, I think it's settled then. And I believe it's going to wrap things up for this review of the Mega Constructs Flocked Panthor, released earlier this year, 2021. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for those who have subscribed to my channel already. The comments are greatly appreciated, especially the comments from the fathers out there who bring their sons into this magical world of Masters of the Universe, a tale of the past which is preserved for the present and future by our next generation, hopefully. Again, thanks everyone. Be safe out there.